let's find opportunities to make money in the stock market. Tesla closed up 76 cents, 0.38% closed at 202.64. Post market, we were down a bit. So let's look at what this looks like on the chart. So as we know, we are into a downward channel. Tesla stock is supposed to be going down. It has been going down for a long time. It's basically zigzagging between these two lines right here. Right now, we are towards the low and we are starting to go back up. So we have gotten two buy signals uh, recently. And right now, the buy signals are still valid. We are in the money and we see that uh, the trading range is pretty tight. This is where we are right now, exactly between 205.65 and 198. Let's call it 198. This is where we are right now. We are pausing a little bit. The tug of war between the buyers and sellers is stable. So they are very stable. They have been stable for the past four days after the big move, you know, we had on Monday. This is perfectly fine. So we are into this very small congestion zone and we are into a shorter term bullish channel. And this is going to take us somewhere. On this channel, we try to find currents. You know, when there's a change in current, we can decide to join it and then write it. This is what we have been doing with this one. Let's take a look at the VIX. So VIX uh, continuing its way down. We like this. We, we are down uh, 2%. So let's hope that we start going back down to 1264. 10-year bonds moving down. This is going to help the stock market. And also a move down today on the dollar. So this is also going to help. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones. Continuing into its bullish channel. S&P 500. Look at this. We broke our bullish channel right here. This is the bullish channel. And we are continuing faster. So maybe we are going to reach the, the opposite side of the bigger bullish channel. You know, this is the big bullish channel that we have. You see it? You see it here, super big. Let me move on to the weekly chart. This is the big bullish channel we have. So, you know, we could be reaching uh, 5,700, even higher than that, almost 6,000. You know, this is not impossible if the trend continues. This is nice to see this strength right here. NASDAQ, NASDAQ also in its bullish channel, climbing higher and higher. We like to see this. This is confirming that what's happening with Tesla, you know, is not just a one-time thing. This is the whole market that's moving in the same direction. Let's take a look at BYD. So uh, the buy signal is still valid. You know, we had the buy signal on Monday. Uh, we had a bit of a caving in. It stayed above support. This is textbook perfect. You know, it came right above 2448 and then it started to go a little bit higher. Strangely enough, it's moving with uh, red candles, but uh, we don't really care about that. Rivian wanting to cave in on this uh, resistance right here. No stochastic. We should not be thinking about buying this one. Yep. Xpeng, boom. Xpeng, you know, we had this uh, congestion zone uh, with the horizontal resistance at 977 yesterday. Boom, we have a break today even though uh, the news was not super great. So this is just to tell you that news and, um, you know, there's not always a direct correlation or causation between news and uh, stock movement because Xpeng said that they have uh, delivered 4,500 cars in February compared to 8,220 in January. So they were down by 45%, but we are almost at an all-time level. Maybe there are people that might know something that are starting to accumulate. We have an earnings call on March 19th. So maybe something is already known and some people are lining at their pockets with this one. Neo uh, going sideways, nothing to do before 628. Let's take a look at the Magnificent 7, you know, Apple. This is not doing good. Uh, Apple had a nice earnings, you know. 3.7% surprise, 1.35% uh, surprise in revenue, but they are still coming down and they are into this uh, bearish channel right here. So it's not the time to touch uh, Apple and it's no longer the time to own it. You know, if it had stayed above 180, 24, you could keep it. 
But now uh, there is no point. Just let it fall and you can pick it back up uh, at some other point in time. Amazon continuing its move. So uh, it's still the time to get in. It has not moved too far from the support. So Amazon, you can get into it right now. Google, nothing to do here. We are going downwards. Meta, yes, continuing its move. We called it yesterday. You know, I don't have enough money to buy everything. So I'm going to let this one go. Microsoft going sideways, very close to breaking for 415.25 if you want to get into it. NVIDIA continuing, you know, we had the call here Thursday, February 22nd, and now it's continuing. This one is doing great. ARM, uh, yeah, we have recuperated 137.35, fantastic. I'd like to see this. Let's hope that we have another move and start moving even higher. Palantir, uh, we have to break 25.52 to be a buy. Right now, it's just going sideways. AMD, uh, following the big move we had uh, yesterday, AMD is continuing uh, way higher. So let's not miss these chances. We are seeing many, many buy signals right now, even though there's uncertainty you know, in the market, the war, whatever. You know, this is moving. So the proof is in the pudding. This is moving. Wow, big move up uh, with the gold. Because we broke 1611, this is significant. This was our resistance that we had to buy. So uh, it has been done right now. So gold, what is interesting with gold is that gold tend to go higher in periods of inflation. And there has been a lot of talk that inflation is going to go back up. So seeing gold uh, climb up like this, maybe this is exactly what is going to happen, but we should keep this in mind. And silver also nice move up, but not the same patterns uh, at all. I would not really buy before eight bucks. Bitcoin stabilizing a little bit after the move up we had recently. XRP, a uh, nice move for XRP. We are into this bullish channel. So uh, we should be zigzagging like this. Neo battery material, uh, yeah, so glad I got out a little bit late, maybe a day late. Uh, this is falling. So next stop is 18 cents. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. And we want graphite, you know, this is weakening, so I won't tough it much more. I was waiting for a break of 251. I basically got in it uh, today. I was watching it during the day, you know. And it came lower, came back up, uh, low, high, low, high. It was hesitating a little bit on the one hour. But Monday, uh, you know, if it continues down, down I'm going to be out. Novonix, we had the buy on Thursday, then came lower, higher, lower. You know, it did a bunch of things. And now, boom, 15% move up. This is fantastic. So I'm really glad I got into that one. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great weekend. We are going to talk on Monday, unless you are a member, in which case we are also going to talk on Sunday, where I do a Tesla Weekly Live, where we take 45 minutes approximately, and we talk about all of the stocks that we are talking about during the week, but we are looking at the weekly chart instead of the daily chart to get the longer term pattern. So be there or be square. So have a great weekend and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.